shock photos show Korea preparing for nuclear attack today. South Korean troops have been pictured getting ready for a nuclear attack. Camouflaged fighters in gas masks and clutching assault rifles carried out decontamination training at the stadium in capital Seoul today. The exercises are designed to prepare their systems and capabilities to respond to chemical, biological and nuclear threats. American's top general has warned North Korea's nukes can now reach the mainland US. But South Korea where 28,000 US soldiers are stationed would bear the brunt if war with the Hermit Kingdom breaks out. Kim Jong-un has threatened to nuke Seoul if he thinks the US is about to attack. The US has stationed missile defense systems in a bid to shoot down Kim's rockets. But Seoul is as close to North Korean capital Pyongyang as London is to Birmingham, and he has amassed a huge arsenal of rockets. While only a few are capable of reaching the US such as Kim's new Hwasong-14 intercontinental ballistic missile all can hit South Korea. Only one needs to get through and Kim now has a nuclear warhead small enough to fit on them. Ready, South Korean troops prepare for a nuclear attack. US President Donald Trump has been warned any military action he takes will result in huge loss of life in South Korea. North Korea has the fourth largest army in the world with almost as many troops as the US despite being only a tenth of its size. Once part-time paramilitary troops are taken into account, a quarter of the country's population are part of its military. Recent comments from the Hermit Kingdom suggest that is preparing human bomb units for nuclear suicide attacks. If World War III does break out, South Korea looks likely to be nuked. Trump has threatened to totally destroy North Korea. The North has taken this as a declaration of war and threatened to shoot down US bombers if they carry out irregular flights near its territory. DRY Run, South Korean troops practice treating a colleague. A spokesman for the US forces in South Korea said, all of the talk by civilian political leaders does not change our mission to provide the South Korea-US alliance with solid military capability in case we are called upon. Our focus is to maintain military readiness with our South Korean partners no matter what is being said in Pyongyang, Seoul, or Washington DC.